It's a painting, isn't it? That's incredible. Oh yeah, there he goes. I see him. Saw him with a naked eye, that one. Jeez, he's right up high. There he goes. Just coming through the air. Just in the air. That was on the way up there. Plenty of deer sign up here. Put one the tar. There's a game trail along here. Well, Richard's just spotted a bull with two nannies. So I'm going to try and zoom in, put my tripod down on this rock here. It's right across there. About a kilometre away, so I'm going to see if I can get it on the, on the camera. I'm zoomed out to about a kilometre, so she's not a great picture, but just got to work out how we're going to get to him. He's a long way off. That's my bull there. Give you an idea how far off he is. We'll zoom back out and you'll see why I'm struggling to actually make any sense. We got a wee bit of a walk. I've just ranged this animal in the middle at 660. I need to get another 300 in to get a clean shot. That's going to be difficult because we've got the wind not in our favour. And yeah, that's what we've got to get up. So we may hit some animals before we even get there because there's more below in this basin that Richard spotted. I'm starting to get a cramp in my right foot at the wrong time. Oh, I'm going up this hill. I'm going through my mental preparation. I've never shot a tar. I've filmed them. I've never shot an animal over 220 metres. So I'm just visualising that bull tar in my crosshairs. I'm just imagining myself relaxing and getting my dial up, bang on, and squeezing the trigger off gently and dropping it. This is the country which it's powering up here to me. Typical pig hunter fit as a trout. But I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Start to really go into the zone now. Feeling feeling really good. Certain confident anxiety about the things that go wrong and I'm in the zone. I've had battle with myself about this trip because I'm not the best hunter in the world. But we're gonna get a book tar today. 100 percent 100 percent Well, this is a moment I've waited for my entire bloody life since I was a kid and saw my dad's bull tar. <laughs> I've got a bull down, clean kill shot, straight down. That's what I wanted. Richard's down below me, he's going to lead me onto it where it went because I've got to go across this gully here. It was a. Um, Full of joy. This one's for you, Dad. I always wanted to drop a ball. <sighs> um, fuck, unbelievable. <sighs> Everything led up to this moment, and uh, it's down. It's not a trophy. 
it's just a just a bull tail, that's all I wanted to shoot. I didn't even check the size of its horns yet. Richard saw a bigger one and I saw a big one, but I wanted to get a bull with a cape and that's what I've done, so I'm gonna go and find him. He's as dead as a doorknob. Wow. I'm a bit overcome. I had to contain myself because I was feeling myself starting to shake. Right, I'm gonna put the pack on and head over and see what we've got. Here's my bull's blood right here. Richard's on the radio, just give me a few pointers, but uh, he did a couple of steps as they do, the balls, and uh, that's his blood, so he's just down here. Definitely straight through the engine room. It's good finding that blood though, because I know I'm going out. Where are you, fella? Down here. Must be down here somewhere. Smell him. Here he is, got him right here. That's him. Shit. Wow. Wow. There's me bull. Oh, mate. Oh, get out. How you doing? Jeez, he's got a good mane on him. Wow. Wow. That ain't, that ain't a, probably a trophy, but it's my, it's my first bull. Wow. He's in. Got a beautiful mane on him. Motion. Yeah, thank you. We're just filthy pig hunters, we're not tar hunters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not a trophy hunter, I'm just glad to have him. Richard's got all the meat, he's got it in his pack, and uh, I'm going to take the skin and the head, which uh, stinks. But I don't want to leave it behind on the hill. You right, mate? Yeah. So I'm only carrying my rifle and this here. Let's see we go. Right, yeah, I'm good, mate. Sure. Yeah, I'm good. Richard just asked, what am I grinning about? Well, it's a good question actually. I'm grinning about the fact that I'm fucking still alive, mate. And I'm up here on the hill with me mate. And that I've knocked something off the bucket list, which I've been dreaming of my whole life. Two and a half years ago, I didn't think I'd be a fucking even here still, man. So I've got a lot to grin about. I just spotted a really good pig and I'll see if I can pick it up the camera while it goes. Which is be bloody hard to see here. I got it. I got it. Good ball. And he'll be standing there. Long walk over there, mate. I've zoomed in as far as I can go. He's a good pig. Yeah, I haven't got the ginger one. Is the ginger one? Where's the ginger one? Above him or below him? I lost sight of him. No, he's a good pig. Yeah. yeah no, he's a oh, he's a good ball. He's moving now, look. Yeah. You know we ginger ball with them, we satellite ball. Oh, yep. Yeah. They team up, don't they? Yeah, he's just like feeding there. Well, that'd be a mission, mate. Go up with the dogs tomorrow. You can do that if you want to. You can't hardly leave them there, can you? No. You never get them out of there, mate. No, I wouldn't, but you would. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> you know, the easiest way to get him out of there. 
He's come up this ridge with him. Oh, there's the little ginger one with him now. Yeah, look at that little ginger one there with him, yep. Geez, I'm zoomed in as far as this camera can go. Bloody hard to hold it still. It's a long way off. I'll just wait till he comes a bit closer to civilization, then I'll catch him. We're out at the herding stage. No, I'm not going pig hunting before tea. Fuck, that's a dumb idea. Who thought of that? This is a slog here, have you look at it. It was easy, everybody do it. Hey Richard. That's right. I've got a name for my tar now, Richard. I was never ever going to get fit enough to hunt with Richard and be at his level. It's like hunting with bloody Grizzly Adams. It's way out there. Yeah, I mean, he's carrying the meat. It's probably heavier than the skin on this. My favourite time of day. Animals will be starting to move around again by now. There's pig poo on this trail while I'm walking. Heaps of it. I don't know how much energy is going to be in the tank to hunt tomorrow, but be nice to bring the dogs up here while we're up here, give them another hunt. Beautiful. I've decided to change the name from Richard to Ricardo so you don't feel insulted. <laughs> I think Ricardo kind of bounces off the tongue better. Richard reckons I stink. He told me I stink. I said, well, you'll see, and he goes, no, you stunk before you had it on you. Really hurt my feelings. I don't care. Oh no, you don't. I don't care that you don't care either. That's where uh, us men are a wee bit different to women. Women get highly offended by that stuff, don't they? Mm. It's beautiful going down this golden light here. We're on the downhill part now. I'll be honest, it was bloody hard the uphill part. I struggled. This is bloody dodgy. What's he done, Captain? You had me worried uh, the first time you went over there, I'll be honest, I was so worried. You grab those. So just let my dogs out, and up at the hut there we've got some visitors, a uh, mate of Richard's Mike, and he's a hunting guide, so he'll be able to tell me a little bit about my tar, because it's got a funny shape on its horns and I don't really know what it is, in fact I don't know any about tar, so he'll probably know because he does a bit of guiding. Mike's also got his wife with him too, so she probably knows about tar too if she's got a partner that's a hunting guide. Heal up! Gonna feed my dogs and hydrate them, and put them back in a truck and get a cup of tea. On aging, yeah, we're just looking at the you do the the rings here, right? So we've got one year. Well, oh, yeah. this is the first year growth. So we've got year and a half old, right? Year and a half first year growth. So one, two, three, about four year old, four and a half year old. Oh yeah. Um, and what we're saying? Why is it like this here? That's got this this piece here. Is that normal? Well, Sometimes they either had a hard winter, right. or Mike was saying maybe it was mismothered. Yeah, right. Um, you can see it's both here. It's yeah. a little bit stunted, especially yeah. this area here. We know they've normally got quite long um, lamb tips. It's quite uh, different, eh? I kind of yeah. like it because the uh, one, the uh, other one I've got that my father shot that's been mounted just hasn't got that on it like that. Yeah. So it's something a bit yeah. unique. But it's different. I mean, you find some of them if they're um, when they're younger, if they're different on one side, they've either hurt hurt that side of their body as they're growing. Um, or if they've had a hard winter, right. or, but yeah, just the, that difference there, maybe, yeah, mismothered. 
How come you know so much about it? Is that from Mike? Yeah. <laughs> hunting. Yeah, hunting. Yeah, yeah. You learn as you go. What do you reckon about the cake? Um, do you reckon it's yeah, alright? it's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice, awesome. eh? It felt yeah, really nice. Your first ball, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's my yeah, first one. Yeah, I've filmed good. a few, yeah. but I've never shot them. Yeah. I've had yeah. them in the scope before, but... Yeah, well, no. So, and it's a good day up here. You had a good day. Yeah, it was a great day. Yeah. No, beautiful. Oh, thanks, Maddie. No worries. Cool. Well, you're obviously a pig hunter too because you've got the old Game Gear uh, Tusker top on. Do you do a bit of pig hunting, there? I don't know. I'm not a pig hunter's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, your man must I'll, be. I'll leave that yeah. up to you. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice a bit of uh, bristle skin on the back of Mike's uh, truck there. Did you get yeah. a pig this morning, did you? Uh, they got a few last night. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good going. Yeah. We almost got run over by the gun. No, 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 oh, thank you. No worries. It's enlightening. I had no idea anything about it. Look at that. I've just sliced a bit of back strap off. Tar meat. Oh, I love tar meat. I used to have a lot when I was a kid. I'm going to cook this up now for my dinner. And I think I'm really going to love this. I'm going to do a very basic dinner. I'm going to do it in the hut here. That's where we're staying. It's just awesome. Paul that's made this available to us has done a fantastic job creating this hut. It's just so warm. It's got a nice feeling about it inside. We've got a really good gas stove here. We've got a, a burner over here to keep you warm and the bunk room's just amazing. I just slept so well. I actually slept as good as I have any time. There's my bed there. That's where I stayed. And uh, Richard was over here. Really, really comfortable. Probably the most luxurious uh, bit of hunting I've ever done in years. Just magic. Right, we're going to chop this up and we're going to eat it. There's my tail meat. I've taken the silver off the back of it. Going to cut that up. We've got some butter. We've got some salt, which I'm going to put on there now just to season it. Pepper will go on later on. Always put your pepper on later because pepper burns in the pan. We'll give it plenty of salt. We're going to cut that really fine. You probably see over here I've got some uh, mushrooms on the board. I've got some nice freshly chopped ginger and some garlic, a whole onion. And we've got some cauliflower with some broccoli to go in the mix. We've also got capsicum in there too. The luxury of having this really good gas ring here in the hut, which is just brilliant for cooking on. We'll get that hot, we'll throw our onions and our garlic and ginger in first. Butter. Nice grass fed cattle New Zealand butter. Hard to beat really. Richard's on another seven cup of coffee. God we need him to stay awake around here. It's been pretty bloody full on the last couple of days. Gonna smash some of this in the pan with my butter. Oh it's frozen. Oh not gonna come out. Oh bugger. Oh, I won't be doing avocado oil, Richard. She's frozen in there. Yeah, she's frozen solid. Get warm it up. What do you do with that? Oh, <laughs> no, no. Just shows you how cold it's up, isn't it? I'll put a bit more in there. Give you, you got it? That's just the one doing too fast. Yeah, no. I'm going to crack it. While we're thawing that out, we'll put that in the pan anyway. Onions. I was hoping to get my oil in a bit faster so my butter wouldn't brown, but it's already started to brown off. The oil stops it doing that. And also ginger and garlic on top of that. Straight away, so that just straight in. We'll see if this is thawed yet. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful, Richard. That worked treat, mate. Nice. That's what I wanted. Salt on that. I'm going to cut this really fine across the grain, almost like sashimi, otherwise it'd be too tough. The animal's only rested for one day. There we go. Nice pile of tar meat. Browning this off, oh, it smells good with the garlic and the ginger and the onions. So we're going to make a space for our meat. We don't want to stew it, we want to fry it very quick tar meat in the pan, just like that. It's got the garlic and the ginger, the onion. I'm going to brown it lightly, I'm not going to give it too much. I'm going to put it in and straight back out again. We're giving this about 30 seconds, tops. The blood's still on it, that's enough. Take it out and let it go straight on the plate. Put that there. That's our tar meat done, now we're going to introduce our mushrooms, our capsicum and our tomatoes all together in here.
smells delicious. I've added my pepper to the tar meat while it's resting. And I've also put pepper in here. Now we're going to put our greens and our cauliflower in. It's basically broccoli. And we're going to add a little bit of water. Sort of saute that. Save it at the same time. And that won't take long at all. These are all brown and good to go. Give a good mix up. How good does that look? We'll give that a couple of minutes and come back to it. This is uh, something I've waited for a long time for, tar meat. Good chewing, man. Absolutely delicious. My dad used to hunt a lot of tar, so mum fed it to us quite regularly. And as Richard was saying to me yesterday, you really want to do it in the slow cooker, but the other way you can do it is to do it really thin like that. If you're in a hurry to eat like I am, that's a good way to do it. These vegetables. Mmm. Oh, you want some, Richard? No, nah, mate. You sure, mate? I'll take in the view. Mmm. Yeah, well, you're taking the view while I scoff, because this is good scoff. It's a pretty good view, too. So, right. Richard and I have both been hunting today, pig hunting. Got one wee one, and this is a good way to finish off, but we're actually going to go for another pig hunt now, eh, Richard? Well, when you finish guts in. <laughs> mm. That's me tar anyway. It's really delicious. You sure don't want some, bud? No, you're right. Mm. Good job on the camera, thanks. Well, back here in Tasman at the old farmhouse in my new bedroom, reflecting on what was a an amazing trip. I really also enjoyed the planning of it. You can see my board behind me there, and I spent days getting my rifle ready and leading up to it, and always excited about it. But the real cream on the cake was going into the hills with a mate, someone who I knew I could rely on. That's so important. So thank you, Richard. Hey, you guys. Whatever you're doing out there, if you're doing it with a mate or you're doing it solo, with your kayak fishing or going on a, a raw trip or stuck shooting or just going into the outdoors, whatever, I hope it's going well for you and you're staying safe. And also that you've got the motivation to make these things happen because if you don't have that, it never gets off the ground. So just... Make it happen, get out there and do shit, do epic shit, and be good. If you can't be good then, be careful. See you later.